Don Watkins with this week's opensource.com top five. At number five, modular documentation, how to make both writers and users happy. Longtime Linux user and open source fan Robert Kratke writes about how modular documentation and how it can make life easier for documentation writers and readers. The modular structure makes it possible to present documentation to users in a manner that better targets their needs. At number four, out-of-the-band management with Redfish and Ansible. Linux system engineer Jose De La Rosa explains how to use Redfish and Ansible to fully automate server management and why this scalable and secure solution is important in today's data centers. At number three, using machine learning to name colors. Senior software engineer Michael A. Alcorn with a fascinating article about how word embeddings can provide interesting relationships between words and colors when used as part of a machine learning system. Number two, Packet Radio lives on through open source software. New writer Tom Karpiniak with an interesting article on the intersection of Linux and amateur radio and how this provides a viable communication platform in some parts of the world. And at number one, the seven stages of becoming a Go programmer. New writer and Go programmer Daisuke Maki describes his learning journey with the Go programming language. A comment to a co-worker led to this seven-stage path to enlightenment. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time.